All right, let's go over what we're going to use today. So I have my usual two sliding discs, and then we're going to also use that stretch band with the handles or just a regular stretch band works fine as well. And we're also going to use that resistance loop today. You can just uh, tie a stretch band, a regular stretch band in a knot um, that will make a circle. This is just gonna add a little extra, so don't worry if you don't have it or if you just don't want to use it. We're gonna start with this right away, coming down onto the mat. So we're gonna take this band, I'm going to put it up above the knees. And I have kind of a medium resistance here. If you have a variety of bands, just choose a medium resistance, medium to heavy. We can always swap it out or you can just get rid of it all together if you want to. We'll start with some core work here. Down onto the back, hands behind the head, legs long. And we're going to lift one leg up at a time as we curl the head and shoulders up. And then down. So just a little pressure into that band. Again, that band's just adding a little extra. We'll take it to the other side on the next one and bring it down. And lift and down, keeping the shoulders nice and wide. Slow crunch up, little pause at the top and bring it down. And lift again, just warming up that core. Perfect. 30 more seconds here. We've got a change coming up. We're going to stay right here on the mat for the next one. And down. Slow crunch up, lift, little pressure into that band, and down. And depending on the weight of your band, your leg might be going higher or lower than mine is. And up. Yes. And lift. We'll take one more time. And lift, now hold it here. Keep those shoulders up, keep that leg lifted. Let's bring the other leg up to meet it in a hollow body shape. Just breathing here, scooping out the abdominals. Slowly pull those legs all the way up to the ceiling. Keep that crunch, keep those shoulders up if you can. And then we'll send one leg down towards the floor. And up, and other leg presses away. Little pause at the bottom and up and stretch, press into that band. Now getting into those hip extensors, the back of the leg. And press, yes. And up, nice. And push. Scoop it up and in, yes. Press away, lengthen that leg away. And up. Little press, good. And lift nice. Hold this next one at the top for me. We're gonna take a reverse crunch here. Little lift of the hips and down. Lift of the hips, so nothing really to do with that band. It's just gonna stay right around those legs. And lift. Try to see how much control you can have here. Rather than just relying on momentum to get that lift. Don't worry about how high your hips go. Think about that controlled crunch. And up, nice. And lift. And down, good. And scoop. That's it, one more here. Let's add our scissor back into this. So one leg reaches away. Pull it back in, other leg. Pull it back in, hold it here, take that crunch. Do it again. One leg reaches away. And in and the other, stretch. And then we hold it at the top, you take that crunch. Nice, less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. And up, little crunch. Nice, we're down to 10 seconds now. It's gonna fly by. Time for just one more. One more round. And up. And a little crunch at the top. Nice job. Hug those knees and give yourself a rock up to sitting. We're going to swivel the mat out of the way and grab our two gliders. So you can either just fold up your mat or you can swivel it out of the way like I did. Grab your two gliders. Leave that band around your thighs the way it is. Setting the gliders down. We'll put those heels on the gliders here. And then coming down onto your back. Lifting up into a bridge right here. 
We're going to take a slow hamstring curl. So those hips are going to stay nice and high. You're going to send one leg out and then drag that glider back in, getting into that hamstring. Take it to the other side. Nice and slow and controlled, meeting those legs right back home. And pull, yes. And pull, good. Drag it in. Belly tight, really squeezing into those glutes. Press firmly into the floor with those arms. Anchor yourself. Yes, and drag, nice. 15 seconds left here, we're gonna speed it up just a little bit. But it'll be the same hamstring curl. Just a slightly different tempo, different pace. One more time right here, nice and slow. Nice, now we're gonna send one leg away. As that leg is coming in, the other leg slides out. So they don't meet back home. They just pass by each other. Yes, and you can see I'm not going actually much faster. So the pace is kind of the same. It's just really the movement that's a little bit different keeping that nice, slow, controlled tempo. Yes. And switch, nice. And switch, good. And switch. And switch. Nice. One more time here. Good, then pull both legs back and underneath you. Reestablish that bridge in the air. Make sure your form is good. From here, we're gonna send both legs out. Mine go about halfway. I don't go all the way out. Lower the hips to a hover. Don't let the hips touch the mat. Pull those feet back and underneath you. Lift back up. Here we go again, send it away. Lower those hips to a hover. Drag it back in underneath you. Lift it up, yes, send it out. Lower those hips, hover them, and pull in. Lift up, so we're making kind of circles here. And down, drag it in, yes, and up. 15 seconds left here. Down, pull in, and lift, and up. Down, pull it in, we're down to five seconds. This will be our last one, down, pull it in, and then release the hips all the way down to the floor. Let's come on up. We're gonna set those discs off to the side. I'm going to fold my mat in half and then swivel it back around. I'm coming to a side lying position, but this fold will get us set up for a little bit later. So I'm coming down onto my right side and I'm gonna stack my legs. We're gonna start with a clamp. So feet stay together, press open and close. Just a little pressure into that band and close and open, and down, yes, push. Nice, good, really getting in to that glute medius right there, and open. Nice, we have some pulses coming up. Just this regular, classic, straightforward clam for five more seconds. Next one, stay open, and little pulses open, press, and press, press, yes. Nice, that's it. Almost there, 10 more seconds to go here with this pulse, then we're gonna straighten that top left leg out. Perfect, yes, nice. Hold it here, straighten that leg out, we're rotated to parallel, so knee and toes are facing forward, and you take a lift up and down, and push, and down. So no rotation on this one. We stay nice and stacked, and down, good. And lift, and up, yes. Push, and push. Good, we have 10 more seconds left here. We're going to take it into some rainbows, taking that leg forward and back. Nice. Next one, stay up there. Lift that leg. 
Stay here, take that leg forward. Give it a little tap on the floor. No weight comes down. Take it up and to the back. Keep those hips stacked, a little tap. Make sure as we go to the back, we don't roll off the hip and rotate. Keep it stacked, really squeeze into your glute. And push, yes. Up and over, tap. And tap, good. Yes. And tap, nice. Hopefully we're starting to feel that glute light up. Mine is starting to talk. We've got 10 more seconds here. We're gonna finish with some pulses. Yes, one more time forward and back. And then we land in the center again where we took our leg lifts. Hold it here and little lifts up. And push, and push. Yes, and up. Nice, 15 seconds left here for this pulse. 15 seconds left. Keep pressing through that heel, reach. Tiny lift for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. We're going to come onto the knees, and this is why I rolled my mat so I have a little bit of padding for my knees. We're going to change the band just a little bit. I want you to keep it around the right thigh the way it is, and then we're going to slip it down over the sole of the left foot. So it's around the right thigh and the left foot. Now, if your band is too heavy, to accommodate that configuration, go ahead and grab this band and put the handle around that left foot. That's absolutely fine. You can control that resistance just a little bit better. We're coming down onto the right elbow, and then I'm gonna pop onto that left hand. So I'm a little bit rotated off to that left side. Lift that leg up like you're a dog on a fire hydrant and press out to the side into that band. And bring it in. And out. And in. We're really just gonna burn out this glute right here. And out, good. And in. Press. And press, that's it. And push, good. That's it. Okay, we've got some pulses coming up. Press out on the next one, come halfway in. Press out an inch, in an inch. You can barely see my leg moving, in an inch. Just a little pulse out and in. That's it. 10 seconds left here, we take it back to full range. 10 seconds left, back to full range. Stay with it. Nice, here we go. All the way back out. And bring it in. And push. And in, good. Nice, now if this position is starting to get to you, I want you to come onto your side again. Take it here, pushing that leg forward. Absolutely. Sometimes this can be a little intense right here. All right, we've got another set of pulses to finish it off. In five seconds, almost there. Press out, come halfway in. And out an inch. In an inch, out an inch, yes. In an inch, press, good. In, almost. Less than 10 seconds here. We can do this, less than 10 seconds here. And out, good. Nice, one more. And bring it in, nice job. Go ahead and slip that band right back onto your legs. Send that mat off to the side. We're coming up to standing. We're gonna grab a disc again. This time we just need one disc. So taking one disc, and then we're gonna configure that band just a little bit differently. So we're gonna place the left foot on the disc, and we're gonna slip that band down below the left knee, but it's gonna stay above the right knee. So it's on a little diagonal here, down below the left knee, above the right knee, left foot on the disc, right foot on the floor. We're gonna take a lunge forward, coming down into a front lunge. Bring it back to the start. And down. And pull back in, yes. And in. And down. 
slide it back in. Now, sometimes for these front lunges, that disc does not glide as well as we would like it to. So you're welcome to take the disc out of it and just drop to your front lunge right there. Push right back to the start. That's a nice alternative if you're having a little trouble, especially on that slide right back in. That's where it might get a little bit stuck. Yes. Nice, good. We have 10 more seconds here. We're gonna hold it out there for a split squat. And down, bring it up. Nice. Hold the next one out there. That disc stays right there. We come up right in between the legs and right back down for a split squat. And up and down. Good, nice and slow. And down, yes. Lift and bring it down. Nice job, we have 10 more seconds here. 10 more seconds to go. That's it. All right, bring the next one in as you stand up. Perfect, we're gonna stay right here. Keep that configuration of the band. Send that disc underneath the right foot. Left foot comes onto the floor. This time that disc is gonna go back. And slide it in, good. And back, so same thing, we're just sending it back, but still working that left leg. And down and up. Again, you're welcome to take the disc out of it and then just step it back into a reverse lunge. Yes, hands can be wherever you want them. I have mine on my hips, but you're welcome to take them in front of your chest if that feels better. Nice, nice smooth sliding, just a little pressure into that band as we go. And up still keeping that little diagonal configuration of that band. 10 more seconds here. We've got another set of those split squats, same thing, except now we're stabilizing that disc behind us. Good, nice. Next one stays back there. Hold it here, keep that disc right where it is. Come up right in between those legs. And down. Don't let that disc drift away. And down. And push, good. And down. And up. Bring it low. Nice. 10 more seconds left here. We've got a side lunge coming up. We're going to change that band a little bit for that next one. Nice. Next time you come up to standing, bring that disc with you. Bring it all the way home. Nice work. So we're going to keep the configuration with the feet. Left foot on the floor, right foot on the disc. But let's take that band off the legs here. And you're going to place it underneath your left foot, just like this, holding onto it with your hands. Again, if your band is a little too heavy to do this, go ahead and grab your band with the handles and put that one underneath that left foot. So I'm gonna hold onto that band with my left hand, right hand just comes to the hip. I'm gonna take a lunge into that left leg, right leg stays straight and just pull wide with that elbow, pulling into that band. Yes, and pull, drive it up to the top. And down, good. And up, that's it. Pretty straightforward. Of course, you could use hand weights with this one. If your band is on the heavy side. Nice. We have 15 more seconds left here for this full range. We're gonna hold it down there for a skate. We're gonna change that arm a little bit too. Good. Nice, next one we're gonna hold it down, stay down there at the bottom. Hold it here. Let's get that leg going first. We're gonna skate that right leg in, send it out from here. Turn that arm, so palm is forward. Tuck that elbow into the side. Send that arm back into a tricep press and then pull it in as we skate that leg in from the side. Send it back, skate it in, and send it back, 
and in, yes, out. So elbow and knee bend, elbow and knee straighten, push. That's it. Pull into that band, there it is. Good. And, and press, good. We have 10 more seconds left here. Just staying low in that left leg. Nice work. One more time here. One more time here. Just release that arm and drive it all the way up to the top in the lower body. Nice work. From here, let's just get that band around the legs again. Get that band up over those thighs. We're gonna take off the mat and we're gonna grab our other disc as well. Pulling out that mat again. Both discs on the floor. We're gonna come down onto the back and we've got our bridge with our hamstring curls to kick off the other side. All the way down onto your back on that mat. Go ahead and lift those hips up, find that bridge. We're gonna start exactly the same way with those nice slow hamstring curls. Slide it out, drag it in. Slide it out, drag it in. Just really focusing on maintaining that high bridge position, squeezing into those glutes. Warming up the back side of the body. Drag it in, yes. Good. That's it. Nice and slow. Less than 15 seconds left here. And then we're going to eliminate that pause right here. Kind of keep that same tempo that we're doing now. Good. Nice. Let's take one more here, one more. Here we go. Slide one leg out and then as it's sliding back in, we send the other leg out. Still keeping it nice and controlled, just not pausing in the middle. And out, and out, good. And slide, that's it. 10 seconds left here, and we've got those circles. We're gonna reverse those circles for this set. Nice, take that leg in underneath you. Now lower those hips to start here, just to a hover so they're not touching the mat. Send those legs out, and then lift the hips as you take those legs back in underneath you. Hips come low to start, slide the legs away. Hips come up, legs come back in underneath you. Hips down, feet slide away. Hips up, feet come back in. This one's a little bit more intense than the circle we did before, so if you'd like to take it back that direction, that's fine, starting with the hips up. Just keep working, and of course you can stay with those single leg hamstring curls. Those are an option as well. Lift and in, give me one more here. And then we'll come onto the side for our clams. Pull it in and bring it down, all the way down. Let's set those discs off to the side. Bring yourself up. We're coming onto the left side right now. Stacking the legs in a clam position. Knees and feet are together. And then we clam that right leg open, keeping the feet together. And down. Press it open. And down, that's it. Starting right here. Making sure we want to press as much as we can without kind of rolling onto our back. Use that band to help you get that work. It's really nice to think about pressing into that band. And open. Nice, we have 15 more seconds left here. We've got those pulses coming up to finish out our clams. Good. And press, nice. Next one, we're gonna hold it open and go right into our pulses. Hold it here, little press, little press. Yes. Open, good. Yes. Oh, 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left, we take that leg long for lifts. In three, in two, in one. Here we go, send that leg out straight. 
It comes to parallel, knee and toes face forward, and we lift, and down, and up. Really getting as much range as you can. And of course, that's gonna depend on availability in your hip and the weight of that band. And lift, and down, good, yes. <clears throat> And up, less than 15 seconds left here. We've got those rainbows coming up, that tap forward and the tap back. We'll keep that leg in parallel for those. Yes. Okay, next one, keep it up. Here we go. Stays high, bring it forward. Give it a little tap on the floor. Bring it up and around. Keep those hips stacked here. Tap it back behind you. And tap it forward. Up and over like a rainbow. Tap it back. Tap it forward and tap it back. There it is. Forward and back. Nice. And tap it back. Good. Hopefully that glute is starting to talk. Ooh, starting to feel the burn, the tremble. Up and over. Good. Nice. We have five more seconds here. Little tap back, now bring it in line with the hip. We've got those pulses to finish. Here we go, lift and up, yes. Or a static hold if those pulses are too much at this point, if that glute has had enough, just hold that leg right there. Nice, 10 seconds left here. Press through that heel, reach long through that leg. Whew, feel that length, feel that work. We're at three, we're at two. One, bring it in. We're coming onto the knees. We're gonna change that band a little bit for this one. So it's gonna stay around that left thigh and we slip it down over the right foot. Around the left thigh, over the right foot. Then we're gonna come down onto that left elbow and then onto the right hand so we're a little bit twisted there. Lift that leg up like you're a dog on a fire hydrant and press out and in, push. That's it, and push. And this one takes no time at all for me to feel that glute. Whew, right away, right there, and in. Pull it in, good. We've got pulses coming up in five seconds. Get ready. Press it out, come halfway in on this one. Hold here at that halfway point, press out an inch into that band. In an inch, out an inch. So small, so small, so controlled. Out and in, good. Nice, three seconds left here. We take it back to full range. Here we go. All the way out and bring it in, yes. And press and bring it in, nice. And push. We've got one more set of those pulses coming up to finish. Keep breathing. Tuck that knee in. Yes. Whew, five more seconds left here. We've got those pulses coming up. All right, here we go. Come halfway in on this one. Hold that out an inch, in an inch. So small, out. 15 seconds to the finish line, that's it. Put your focus there, it's only 15 seconds with each one, it's less. Keep breathing, yes. Nice, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, nice work. Go ahead, slip that band back over your thighs. Let's get our mat out of the way again. And we're gonna grab one disc. I'm gonna flatten out my band. So we need one disc, and we're gonna take that same diagonal configuration with the band. This time, it goes below the right knee, above the left. Below the right knee, above the left. Right foot goes onto that glider. We're gonna start with our front lunge here. So we slide out, drop down into that 90 degrees on both legs, that band evens out right there. Drag it back in, and down. Drag it back in. Again, you're welcome to lose the disc on this one. 
If you're having trouble sliding it back in, just step right out to that lunge and step right back into the start. And in. Yes. Push into that right leg. And down. Bring it back to the top. Nice 15 seconds left here. We've got those split squats coming up. And in. And bring it in. Good. Okay, here we go. Next one stays out there. Next one stays out there. Coming up and down. Make sure you have a good position. I needed to pull my disc just a little bit further in. So if you feel like you're a little too wide, make that adjustment. If you feel like you're too narrow, get that disc out there a little bit further. Yes. Nice, 15 more seconds left here. We've got reverse lunges coming up. And low. And up, good. Five seconds, already down to five. Next one, bring that disc with you as you come all the way back to the top. Nice job, all right. So we're gonna take that disc now underneath the left foot. Keep that band just how it is. Make sure you have space behind you. We take that left leg back, sinking down into that front right leg and bring it up. And of course, you can just step it back to that reverse lunge without that disc. And up. And up, good. Slide it up to the top. Shoulders stay right over hips, chest high, shoulders down. Feel free to take those hands wherever they feel comfortable. And up. Yes. Slide. And up, good. Nice, we have 15 more seconds left here. We've got that split squat coming up again, just stabilizing that disc behind us this time. But same movement. Nice, give me one more full, just like this. One more, bring it back into the top. Next one stays back there, here we go. Slide it down, keep that disc right there. Stand it up in between your legs. Right back down. And up. And up, good. Yes. Up to the top. Get low each and every time. Each and every time. Challenge yourself. Nice, we're at 10 seconds left here. 10 seconds left, we got side lunges coming up. And up one more time. Take that disc in with you as you come to the top. Nice job, okay. So we're coming back to that same configuration, but we're gonna change that band now. So now the band goes just underneath that right foot. We're gonna hold onto it with that right hand. Then we're gonna take that left foot right back onto the disc the way it was. This time, just that right leg is gonna bend. Left leg stays long. We pull wide into that band. And back up to the top. And pull. And up. And of course, you're welcome to use your other band here with those handles if this loop is just a little too heavy for this one. Yes. And up. Good. Think about pulling that elbow wide rather than pulling the arm up. Good. That's it. Drive it up to the top. Nice, we have 15 more seconds left here for this full range. We've got that skate coming up with that tricep press. Just a little bit longer here for this full range, this side lunge. Yes. Good, drive it up to the top. Next one, we're gonna stay low. Stay low, nice job. So just keep the arm right here for a second. Let's get that skate going. And back out, now hold it here. Flip that right arm, so palm is facing up, elbow is tucked into the side. Give me a tricep press right here. And then both elbow and knee bend in together. And pull back into that band, push. And push. And push, there it is. Nice. 
Nice and strong push, that's it. Press, good. And press, last 15 seconds here. Final 15, final 15. And press, good. One more time here. One more time here, good. Keep that arm right there, drive it up to the top through that leg. Nice job. All right, we're gonna take that band back over the thighs the way we had it before. It's not gonna do a whole lot for the next series, um, but we do want it there to finish and just add a little extra work for the legs. Set your disc off to the side. Let's grab our mat back out again. Then we'll get into some upper body work. From here, I'm gonna take my handle band. I want a lot of tension in it for this one, so I'm gonna fold it in half. Then I'm gonna step on it, fold it in half. It's gonna be really heavy right here. I'm holding onto handles on one side and the loop on the other side. I'm bent over, knees are bent, hinge forward at the hips, shoulders are over knees. Palms face each other, so we're in a neutral grip here. And we pull, and down, and pull. And I had to adjust my feet just a little bit to make sure the tension was even on both sides. So make those adjustments for yourself if you need to squeeze those shoulder blades. And we want it to be heavy. Now, of course, you can not fold the band and just grab really nice and low towards your feet to get that weight, depending on how heavy your band is. Good. Less than 30 seconds. We don't have any changes. We don't have any variations on this. Just that nice low row. Squeeze into those shoulder blades. Get that back work. 15 seconds left here. And pull. There it is. Nice. Less than 10 seconds to go. Belly tight. Good. Give me one more. Just one more. Nice. Good. Carefully step off that band. We're coming down onto the knees here right down onto the knees. I'm gonna slip that band underneath my right knee, holding it, both handles, in my hands. I'm gonna squeeze my heels together behind me, little opening in those knees, so I have a little pressure into that loop around my thighs, and we're gonna take a twist over to that left side, and center, and over. So again, that loop around your thighs is not doing a whole lot, just adding a little tension to that position. It's like you're hugging a giant beach ball right in front of you here, getting into those obliques. Yes. And twist. Off to that left side. Good. And pull. Nice, we have 10 more seconds here. Only 10 seconds to go, squeeze your glutes. Shoulders down. If you're starting to feel those shoulders, pull those hands in closer to your chest. Make sure they stay centered. Nice. One more time here. Excellent. Good. From here, I'm going to hold that left handle, just with my left hand, holding it at my hip. And then I'm going to take that right handle on the inside of my wrist. And we're going to reach straight up with that right arm for a single arm overhead press. And press. Good. Nice. We're going to have a little change coming up in just a moment, adding on to this. Good. Ten more seconds here, just for that press. And push. And push. Good. Nice. Next one, we're going to take it into some lateral flexion. So you're going to press up, stretch it over to that left side, bring it back up, back in. Reach it up, take that side bend. And up, get into those obliques. And stretch. And press. Good. Reach it up. Up and over. Nice. And down. And up. Up and over. Ten more seconds here. Ten more seconds here. Push. Stretch. And down. One more time. And reach. There it is. And down. Take that band underneath both legs. So it's going to be around the shins, heels together, so we anchor that band down. From here, arms in like you're holding a tray, palms face up. You're going to reach forward. And bring it in. And reach forward. And in. Good. 
and forward. Now we're going to add a little hip thrust movement to this. So keeping those elbows bent, sit down onto your heels. And then as you reach forward, press up, squeeze into those glutes as tight as you can, and then sit it down. And then bring it up, really using those glutes. And down. And press. Nice. And push. That's it. Press it up, good. And down, less than 15 seconds left here. Squeeze into your glutes. Get that chest work. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Stay up there. Let's take that band just underneath that left knee, holding both of those handles with the hands, holding that giant beach ball in front of you. We twist to the right. And sit. And twist. Bring it back to the start. And twist. Good. And in. And no changes, no variations on this one. Just that torso twist. Yes, of course, bring those hands in if your shoulders are starting to be the only thing you're feeling. Good. And twist. Whoo, down to the final 10 seconds right here. Final 10 seconds right here. Nice. One more time, just one more time. All right, let's take that right handle. Just hold it at your hip with your right hand. Flip that left handle around so it's on the inside of your wrist, and then just start with that overhead press with that left arm, and bring it in. Of course, you're welcome to use both sides, both ends of the band for this one if you want a little bit more weight. I like using a single end, especially when we get into that lateral flexion. But don't let me stop you from going heavier. All right, let's add that side bend in on the next one. We press up, over, up, bring it home. Lift and stretch. Good. And down. Reach. That's it. And down. Good. And up. And down, good. Reach, stretch, lift. Nice. We're down to the final 10 seconds right here. Final 10 seconds. And over. And nice. Last time. Beautiful, good. Bring it in. All right, come down onto the floor. We're going to fold that band in half coming down onto your stomach right here. You're gonna reach those arms overhead, and you can hold a little bit wider, uh, just depending on the weight of your band. My legs are just slightly separated, little press into that loop around our thighs. I want you to keep your legs anchored on the first one. We're gonna lift the, shoulder, the chest and arms up, hold it there, pull down, tap yourself in the head with that band, reach forward and down, and again, lift, pull, forward and down. Squeeze your glutes, press your hips down into the mat. And down, lift, pull, reach, bring it down. Lift, pull, nice, one more. Good, hold the arms down, lift the legs up, keep those thighs up, bend the knees, like you're trying to kick yourself in the tush. Stretch it out, and bend. Thighs stay hovering off the floor, the whole time, pull, and stretch, and pull, and stretch. Little hamstring curl, and stretch, and stretch, good, one more. Nice, bring those legs down for a breath just to rest. Everything comes up, we're putting it all together. Float it up, hold it here, bend elbows, bend knees, stretch everything out, come down. Lift up and bend. Stretch, bring it down. Lift, bend, stretch. One more time here. Now we just stay up the whole time, not coming down in between each one. It's only 15 seconds. 
Only 15 seconds, chin is in. Looking at the floor, shoulders down, out of those ears. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. One more time. Stretch and bring it down. Let that band go. Bring yourself up. I'm gonna take that band off to the side. Swivel your mat and I'm gonna unfold it. We're gonna be placing our hands on the mat, coming into a plank. Sometimes if it's folded, it puts too much pressure on that wrist. So that's why I'm unfolding it. We're grabbing both of our discs and this is where we finish today. So I want you to meet me in a high plank, feet on those discs, hands on the mat or the floor. From here, we're just gonna take slow side steps. Send one leg out to the side, bring it back in. Other leg, bring it back in, out. And in. 10 seconds left here. We've got a change coming up. Yes. Good. Nice, here we go. Both legs at the same time. Out and in. Out and in. Yes, push that floor away, belly tight. Five more seconds left here. Good, hold it here, pike it up, separate those legs, circle it back to the start, back into your plank, and pike, open out, circle back home, lift, open out, circle back less than 10 seconds, and back one more. Let's go ahead and reverse it, open, pull into your pike, Unfold to your plank. Open, pull into your pike. Unfold to your plank. Open, scoop it up and unfold. Less than 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds. Time for just one more. Find that plank and then bring those knees down. Untuck those toes. Find a child's pose. Ooh. Okay, let's stretch. So, let's set everything off to the side. Take that band off, finally, from around your thighs. Swing your mat around. Find your way up to hands and knees. And let's start with a cat-cow. And stretch. Hold it here. Let's send the right leg forward. Leaning into that, pressing into that to open up that back. Left hip, reach your arms up by your ears, and then just take a slight back bend to wherever you're getting a nice stretch, then it feels good. Now let's bring those hands down and switch to the other side. Reach those arms up. Tiny little back bend here. You keep going as you start to open up here. Good. Bring those hands down. Back onto hands and knees. We're going to dive down through the arms and then press yourself up, stretching. You're going to send the hips back, tuck the toes under, push up and back, find a downward dog stretch. Let's do that again. Bring those knees down first. Dive down through your arms, stretching up. Send the tailbone back, toes tuck under, and stretch up. Good, go ahead and bend those knees and slowly walk yourself in towards your legs. Find a hang, just let it go. Just laying your torso on your thighs. And then start to roll it up nice and slow, stacking your spine. Letting your arms hang, letting your shoulders hang. Head is heavy all the way to the top. Whew. Nice work. <laughs>